This video is about combinations of functions. So I'm just going to go straight into an example and then show you the different things that we can do with functions. So we have f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus 1. We want to find a few things. The first thing is f plus g of x. So this is written in a way that looks really, really complicated and confusing. You can also, re you can start by rewriting this as f of x plus g of x. These two things are the same thing. Once you have that, then all you have to do is substitute in f of x, add to it g of x. Then you're going to combine your like terms, and your final answer is x squared plus 2x. So subtraction is very similar. You can do it on your own if you want, or you can just watch me do it. So we're going to rewrite this as f of x minus g of x. That is going to give us 2x minus 1 minus x squared plus 1. Do not forget to distribute your negative. And in the end, we're going to get negative x squared plus 2x minus 2. Multiplication is pretty much the same idea. So we are going to, you can rewrite this as f of x times g of x. From there, you can multiply these out using the FOIL method. And when you do that, your final answer will be 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. So the division one, I think people look at this and they think it's going to be the hardest one. And occasionally it is, but in this case, it's actually really easy. All you're going to do is you are going to rewrite this as 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 1. If you see anything that you can simplify, like if you can factor something out and cross out a factor, that's great. But in this case, we can't do anything, so we just rewrite it like that. So for number five, this is a new type of thing that you maybe haven't seen before, or you ha maybe haven't seen it in this form. So this is going to be what we call function composition. And when you see that open circle in between the F and the G, just know that it does not mean multiplication. So function composition, if you've done it before, you most likely have seen it written as F of G of X, written like that. So in this case, um, we are going to take our F, I'm just going to write them off on the side. You probably have them down already. Our f of x is 2x minus 1. Our g of x is x squared plus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the g of x and substitute it into the x in our f of x. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to rewrite this as f of g of x, which is going to give us f of x squared plus 1. So now you're going to take your, your f of x, which is 2x minus 1, substitute this x squared plus 1 in for your x. So you end up getting it looking like this. Your final answer here will be 2x plus 1. So the last one I'm going to give you is very similar to number 5, except that we are now going to write it as g of f of x. If you think you can do it, go ahead and pause and try it on your own. If not, feel free to just watch me do it. So for this one, we are going to do g of f of x. So the g comes first, that's going to be the one on the outside. So our f of x is 2x minus 1. I am now going to take that and substitute this whole thing into the x 
that's in the G. So this is going to change to 2x minus 1 squared plus 1. From there, you can use the FOIL method and multiply it all out. You end up getting 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 plus 1. So your final answer is 4x squared minus 4x plus 2.